hey what's up we're in the next part now and i'm busy explaining to you guys a dream that i had and not just the dream but the interpretation of it god uh, in the previous part i was telling you told me that i'm, I'm gonna get my furniture but not that from there i'm gonna buy everything brand spanking new i'm going to walk into where the lees i'm going to walk into rochester into corey craft i am going to walk into whatever furniture store i want and i'm going to purchase um new items of furniture if there's anything old in my new apartment it's only because i decided to take it with from this environment but i'm not going to be driving to naturina where my content my stuff is in a garage at the back of my uncle's house i'm not going to be driving there to try and get my chest of drawers or my my uh, what is this my dining room suite or my couches or my scatter cushions or whatever might be the items of furniture that are all cramped up in that environment i'm not gonna have to get it he told me that i am going to start from scratch so old is my stuff that the lord represented it as retro in my dreams it is still very viable it is still very beautiful um indeed that's why they put their sticky grubby fingers on it but since they cast lots for my things like i'm dying just like the son of man when i come back again i will have robes from heaven i'll be completely new in a new body in a new everything i'm going to buy my furniture all the way from crockery cutlery towels di jardini curtains two chunky pieces of furniture like couches like wing backs like uh what is this dining room suites and tables and, and, and televisions and whatnot all that and television counters stands and i'm gonna buy all that stuff i am going to buy like you know guys the, the lord purchased me such beautiful furniture my house if, if you could see my houses if you could see what my furniture looks like yeah yeah my landlords used to be gobsmacked whenever they came to see my apartment for the first time because i reported a snack or whatever a leak in the apartment and when, and when they came in they were always like whoa you've, you've done such a great I, I love what you've done with the place that that's how well i used to decorate my spaces and the furniture was also very high quality very beautiful i once like i remember when i was moving out of the one apartment the real estate agent there was like phew whoa this place is so gorgeous it's unfortunate you're moving out i felt sad didn't know my life situation i wished i wasn't moving out but i was moving out the lord said i told you guys the other day that my garden umbrella is chilling in my mom's garden that when she asked for it she wasn't asking for me to give it to her but she told me you can take it whenever you move out but it's been years now it's officially my mom's garden umbrella it's not mine and the stone you know these garden umbrellas they they're unstable so they have got to when you buy it i bought it at builder's warehouse when you purchase it you have to buy it with this like a uh, slab of brick to keep it stable uh you can buy four three two or one depending on how windy your city is type thing i bought uh two such slabs because i didn't need to buy more than that and there were these beautiful stones that were nicely carved into the shape of a square because of how much i moved one of them broke and so it's just this like square that looks like the apple logo it's got a bite in it and i'm like such things if i had money and this had happened in my apartment with my brick with my slab on the floor for my garden umbrella i would have just gone to builders warehouse and bought another slab because i wouldn't have settled for a broken slab uh but there's a broken slab today like chilling on the floor in my mom's garden uh, i'm not lying to you i'm not making stuff up it's broken that slab i wouldn't have kept it that way i actually want to show you what i'm talking about let me take the phone out of the chart this is what i'm talking about do you see what i mean there's the square slab it's broken again and here's the second square sorry uh and it's uh, it's got like one it's here two three and the rest of it is over there i had only purchased two as you can see that this is made up of two this here is made up it's, it's a broken up one square and then there's that square this little baby Let's go back into the Mukuku over there and charge the phone.
yeah that was my garden umbrella and i had purchased it because i moved to an apartment that had a beautiful patio beautiful veranda um and it was on the second floor and i had a view of the city and all the green in four ways and i was like i want a garden umbrella that's going to look really beautiful in the balcony and now it's not mine anymore it is still mine uh in the legal sense of the word i can take it but i don't want it uh and it's gotten whew, still breathing two years two or, or three i don't know how long it's been chilling on my mom's jarata there in my mom's garden but yeah it's had time to get worn out and tear out when you open it it's all discolored it doesn't look the same i would have likely replaced it every two or three years so by now i would have changed uh, changed it out um type thing but yeah such things i'm not able to do so uh god does not want me moving to my apartment and putting that kind of a garden umbrella you know that has got that those kinds of like you know wear and tear uh symptoms on it and when i have not used i have not been the one to use my furniture in that way it's been them it's been my relatives that have used my furniture in that way so god does not want me basically getting what would be the ten amount of scraps even though they were my brand new thing at some point but then i will end up using scraps of what was brand new once for me they got to enjoy the young days of my furniture they got to enjoy the glory of my things and i will be taking them worn out my fridge at my sister's apartment my garden umbrella in my mom's garden like god has been like you don't have to you won't have to you're gonna buy a new umbrella that is a new model that is the freshest one out on the market with as many slabs that are as square or as round as you want them on the floor that are not broken you're gonna get your own new fridge your own new washing machine microwave toaster kettle like name it you're gonna get it all and it's gonna be new because i never intended for you to lose everything i told you you're gonna gain a hundredfold over everything that you have lost in this life with persecutions and in the next life eternal life in the next life eternal life so that's why i'm not busy holding on to nothing but the rapture yo it's gonna get me hurt something bad that's why i keep on striving so not only was i shown that not only did i get that dream where i was showing my stuff being retro when i woke up asking god why was it retro he then says because it's in the past and then i put the pieces of the puzzle together as to what that uh, all meant i then also was told that i'm going to make way more money than all of them combined and after hearing that i was like oh but when and like when is this gonna happen like i'm a shadow band I, I like all i could think was i'm shadow banned on youtube i can't monetize i am growing not as fast as i would love to on facebook but even then i don't know what it would take for me to monetize on facebook i can't yet write in my blog because so therefore start earning ad revenue there because there's no electricity supply in the country not sufficient enough for me to use a desktop to write sometimes something that i write for hours on end right i have spoken about that at length in one of my videos I am currently not able to do much and even with my workouts, my fitness that, that I want to start, I'm currently stagnated, I'm unfit right now because I'm just having to prioritize what I work on because of these power cuts. So what are we going to, God, like when am I ever going to make so much money that I'm making more than them? Uh, the Lord did not answer me immediately, alright? I was just with these questions running in my mind, running in my mind, running in my mind. So here it is that I, I get out of bed. I get out of some bed, I've done my bed and everything and now I'm walking up and down dragging my body moving my plates to the house that I was using to eat dinner last night just the morning routine the schlep that I have to go through every morning and as I'm in the middle of that schlep guys the Lord said you're gonna start earning a salary like in the middle of a schlep so a word of knowledge came into my understanding as I'm schlepping around and he's like you're gonna start earning a salary in other words remember earlier i was complaining that i don't have a, a reliable or a stable source of income every single month that can enable me to actively plan for the future to plan to save or to plan to maybe change my tires out at the end of the month or fix the light that's dangling on my car like i can't plan i have to just sit around waiting and every so often god sends somebody along that'll give me some money and that'll keep me going for about a month two three all right i know how to spread a little to go a long way remember i spoke about that in the previous parts 
well uh, I was like got a salary by by mere virtue of it being called a salary implies that it's monthly what do you mean am I about to monetize on some platform how in the world is that even feasible or possible when such things as this are happening all over YouTube yesterday I was watching the channel of a man is, is, uh, let's move to the next part because you know time <laughs>